Hi, it's Andy Gregg. Have you ever run out of ketchup? On today's episode of Amazing Home Projects with Andy Gregg, I'm going to show you how to optimize how you keep your ketchup. Like how you have ketchup in a bottle. That's what we're going to do today. So when my family purchases ketchup, we opt for the economy size or the big ass size of ketchup. This is the the Big Y brand tomato ketchup. This is the 64 ounce bottle. You know, this is a really nice bottle. It squeezes well. It has good center mass so that when I want to put the ketchup in my hot dog, I can do that. I'm going to unscrew the cap. I'm trying to get ketchup on my finger there. And one of the things I like to do, you know, I like to go into some of the fast food restaurants here in town. And believe it or not, they keep these ketchup packets out. They don't, you, you don't even have to buy anything. You can just walk in. You can grab a handful of these and just leave and they'll never know. And then the best thing about this is you can see this is actually Heinz brand tomato ketchup. This is a better quality ketchup than the big Y generic brands. So, uh, you know, this cost me zero dollars and zero cents. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna transfer the contents of this Heinz ketchup packet into my really nice bottle. And people will tell you just to just to rip the ketchup packet open like, a, like, a, like an animal. That's not how we do things here. I'm gonna take this scissor, I'm gonna cut a 45 degree angle in the corner of my ketchup packet. I'm gonna insert that diagonal right into the nozzle of the ketchup bottle. I'm gonna place my fingers in a scissor pattern and I'm gonna squeeze the contents of the ketchup packet into the bottle. And you can see the contents of this Heinz packet are now in my big Y ketchup bottle. You could just do this with, you know, 20, 30, 40 packets. You can go from restaurant to restaurant. What I would say is if you have a main road, a main traffic artery in your town, in which they have a Wendy's, a McDonald's, a Burger King, just go from one to the other, grab a handful of ketchup packets in each one, and get out of there. So I've squeezed about two dozen packets of ketchup into my bottle, and it's, you know, filled it about maybe this much. The next thing I'm gonna do to refill my bottle I actually was able to go to the store and I have just another bottle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open her up. You can see the nozzle's in the middle. I'm going to really be careful to position the nozzle from my feeder bottle into my keeper bottle. I'm going to place my hands right in the center mass of the bottle. I'm going to squeeze. Ready? I'm going to do another squeeze. So squeeze. You can see when you're going to hear that noise, that means you're almost out. One of the things I'm going to do now is I'm going to secure the cap. This last bit is a little hard to get out, and I'm going to tap three times. Ready? Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Reopen. Squeeze. Okay. Didn't work so well. That's all right. It's all right. You have to be persistent with these kinds of things because if you start to you start to doubt the process, things don't work out. We're gonna squeeze. Okay, I'm gonna recap. And you can see, just like a brand new bottle of ketchup, right there. So I've successfully gotten pretty much all of the ketchup out of my new bottle and into my old one. What's the responsible, prudent thing to do in this situation? We're gonna wash out this new bottle and we're gonna recycle it. Twist, twist. You can see I've got a perfectly clean bottle here, formerly with ketchup, ready for recycle. This has been another episode of Amazing Home Projects with Handy Gray, Empty Ketchup Bottle Edition. Don't forget to like and subscribe.